Today, I'll be teaching you how to turn anybody into a 3D model just by using their face. Let's get started. All right, so here I am in Face Gen Pro. The software is $130, super worth it, right? So how the software works is you're just gonna load an image there. Pick any image, hit open. You can pick like a side image, right or left, right, completely optional but I prefer not to. Okay, I'm just gonna use the front image. We got the weekend there. And you're just gonna put in these markers as it's shown on the top right image. It shows you an example. I'm just gonna put it there. You're gonna put all these markers on the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the chin. Okay, create from photo. And we're just gonna, just gonna wait here. Yeah, this normally does take a while. Okay, so we are done. You can modify um, the face gen data. If you wanna change anything like the cheekbones, the chin, anything like that, it's completely optional. can see here you can even change like the the age like of the face if you want to like add more wrinkles want to make them look young anything like that as you can see demographics interactive shape color texture anything but I prefer not to do all that so I needed like a very accurate image Okay, looking good. Just a regular image, at nothing modified. So we're gonna go, we're gonna head on over to file, nah, sorry, not file, exports, exports, right? We're gonna type in the parameter name. I personally use Genesis 8.1, the DAS model. Okay, parameter name, we're just gonna type it down as Weekend. Sorry, weekend. And it shows you where it's gonna export to. As you can see, my there's my PC name, documents, dash studio, my library, to get your textures from there. And your parameter data. Not gonna change anything else here. You don't really need to do much here. And exports. Yeah, this is going to take a while. Sorry. Okay, and now that we're done with that, well, not we, I kind of skipped through that. It's gonna show you where your morph has been saved to. Okay, so if we head on over to DAS, we're gonna select the Genesis 8.1 mail, cause that's what I normally use. I'm gonna load it in here. Just gonna skip this part. Okay, there we go. So with our Genesis 8.1 mail, we're gonna go to parameters. Oh, no, 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 not, not, not on transforms, not on transforms. Now you're gonna go to all, and there we go, the weekend. We got our parameters, and as you can see, it changed the face, the face morph. So it looks like him by the face shape so far. 
right, by the parameter. Next, we're going to go to surfaces. Okay, this is 8.1. Skin, lips, nails, surfaces. By the way, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. And after this video, please go check out my Patreon and my socials. Back to the video. Arms. And basically, you now you're going to have to look for the textures right on your file here on your documents normally like under your dash 3d um dash 3d documents and you're gonna genesis 8.1 the weekend there we go we got all the uvs we got all the textures here yeah so here as i was saying you're gonna put them all one by one as you can see it changed the arm here to match we're gonna go back gonna do that for the face the head the legs everything one one by one one by one one by one this time we're looking back to the same file this time we're looking for the body Now the point and now we don't need to change that ears. Yeah, I know this this can get a little bit tedious. Try I'm trying to work as fast as I can. I'm just gonna kinda like speed run through this whole thing. On, I'll be right back. Let me get to work here. Oh, just a useful tip, by the way. Once you've already loaded in a texture, right, you don't really need to like go back because it, it'll be safe. You can just like, you know, it's going to be like pre, it's going to be loaded already. So you can always just like go back and select it. But if it's a texture you haven't, imported in yet yeah you're gonna have to kind of go back and i am done doesn't that look beautiful Looks exactly like them. Oh, and also you can change the the body here on shaping if you want to make them, you know, fat, skinny, muscular. You can do all of that here on the shaping tab. I'm gonna go to actor and yeah, you can even do that to individual parts. But I'm just gonna keep it like this. Keep it basic. I'm real happy with how that turned out. Now, as for exporting, it's really up to you, right? You can download the Diffeomorphic uh, plugin or the DAS to 3D, um, sorry, the DAS to Blender Bridge. But for some reasons, those don't like normally work for me. So I'm just gonna, you know, export it through the default way, which is just classic the classic FBX way. Okay, I'm gonna create a file here. My desktop. By the way, as I said, there's, mo there's multiple methods of exporting from um, DAS to Blender. I suggest you do your research and find out which one works for you, but this is, this this way works for me. Okay, done with that. All right, so we're gonna step back here in Blender and we're just gonna delete all of this because it's not really necessary. You're gonna delete the camera, the lights, the default cube. Then we're going to head on over to File, 
imports fbx we're gonna look for the fbx that i exported from das okay found it and i'm just gonna hit imports fbx and oh okay he looks like the silver surfer but don't worry about that all we just need to do is just head on over to viewport shading and give it a minute and there you go so we now we can animate them um clothe them in blender we can move them over to unity and unreal yeah i'm really happy with this you can do this with anybody 